Hello and welcome to another day of learning with Miss Tia. Today is Friday, hmm, April 3rd. Friday, April 3rd. Three days already into April. Thank you everybody for joining us for another day of learning. Hopefully you guys are excited. It's Friday so I won't get to see you again until Monday. So hopefully you have a good weekend planned. All right. So yesterday we started out writing some of our lowercase letters. So today we're going to continue with some of those lowercase letters. So I got my little basket of eggs here again. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, oh my goodness, where is my head? I have to shout out to a few people today. We've had a couple new people add on to um, watching our videos. So, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to Orlando. Hi, Orlando. Thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to who else is out there? Barrett. Good morning, Barrett. Good morning to you. And thanks for showing your pictures. I love seeing what you're doing at home. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to Ezra. Hi, Ezra. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to who else is out there? Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. All right. Good morning and thanks for joining us again. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully you have your paper and pencil ready to go or your board, whatever it is that you're using to write some letters. So let's go ahead and get started in our basket here and see what we can find. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. What do we got in here in the blue egg? Oh, we have the letter D, letter D, 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 let's see, where's my D, D is for dog, there's our dog, I have two dogs, I'm sure you've seen them walking around somewhere in the video sometimes, but D is for dog, alright, so, for our letter D, let me get my marker here, so we can begin. All right, so for letter D, we need to do a curved line and a straight line. Curved line and a straight line. So where do you think we're gonna start? Well, our curved line is gonna start here at the plane line, which is our dotted line, and we're gonna go down to our graph line. So we're gonna make our C again. So that magic C, you see in a lot of our letters, all right, so I'm going to start here at the plane line. I'm going to curve around to make my C. Okay, there's my C. And then I'm going to make a straight line starting from the skyline, going down to the graph line, and make sure you make sure uh, make sure it touches your curved line as well. Okay, so I'm going to start here at the top. I'm going to go down and connect it. Okay, now you can also do it in one motion. I'm showing you... Um, in two parts so that you know how to correctly make the letter. But if you get the hang of it, you will start here at the plane line. You go all the way around like you're making a circle. You go back up, way up to the skyline, and back down again to the graph line, okay? And it's always important that you start at the right place, especially as you get older and you start doing cursive writing. It's always important that you start at the right place, okay? So we are starting usually always at the top. Our um, lowercase letters have a little bit of exception because we sometimes start in the middle, and that's okay. All right, so D is for dog. Let's see if you can write the word dog for those of you that would like to challenge yourself, okay? So dog starts with a D. The next letter is ah, ah, ah. Does anybody know what letter that is? Ah, ah, ah. An O. So we're going to write an O. So it's just a circle. We started the plane line. We go all the way around and back up. There we go. D O. Now the last letter is a G. 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 What 
letter makes the G sound? It is the letter G. And we're going to be learning that letter next week. Letter G. So letter G, again, we start with our magic C, starting at the plain line. And we go around. And then we're going to go back up to this top here. And then we're going to come down. We're going to go all the way down here to the worm line. And we're going to curve it up a little bit. There's our G. D-O-G spells dog. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next letter. So we got D for dog. Let's see. Can I put that up there? D for dog. All right. Let's go into our next letter. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Let's see what we got here. We have a letter P. A letter P. Oh, my goodness. Letter P. Now, if you look, so I'm going to put this on here. If you look at our D and you look at our P, if I turn the P around, it looks like a lowercase d. So I turn it upside down, and now we have our lowercase p. So this one, we're going to be kind of making our letter the opposite way. So first we made our curve for the letter D. This time we're going to make our straight line first, and then our curve. Okay, so let me erase this really quick here. And we will write our letter P. Let's see my P here. Letter P is for pear. Pear. Do any of you guys out there eat pears? They are very sweet. Good fruit. Yummy, yummy. One of my favorites. Pears. All right. So letter P. So this time we're going to make our line. We're going to start here at the plain line. And we're going to go all the way down here to the worm line. Okay? So we're kind of making a big line, but we're starting it further down. So we're going to go from the plain line down to the worm line. And now we're going to make our curve. So here's our curve. We start at the plain line up here at the top of our line. And we're going to go and connect it right here at the grass line, right where we made our line there. Okay, so we start at the top here. We're going to curve it around just like so. Okay, so there's our lowercase p. So uppercase P, we would start further up. So we start up here at the skyline, and we would make our line down to the grass line, and then we go around from the top to the middle here at the plain line. So there's a capital P, lowercase p. Okay? All right. So letter P, if you want to do it in one straight motion, you can do that as well. So what you do is you make your one straight line down, and then you go back up and around okay so you don't have to pick your pencil up so you just follow the straight line back up and around okay so we're going to write the word pear now this one is not one that you can actually sound out because it actually has a double vowel a e i o and u sometimes y are vowels and we'll talk about that um in another video but it oh i guess i can leave that p we um pear has two vowels in the, in the middle of it, an E and an A, which makes a sound. So P, E, which we started practicing yesterday, the letter E. Then we make our A, which we also practiced yesterday, and our R, which we also practiced yesterday. Oh my goodness, we practiced all of those letters yesterday. So P, E, A, R spells the word pear. P, 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 E, E. Eh. Eh, ah, 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 er, 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 okay, pear. But when you put these two vowels together, an E and an A, it makes a different sound. All right, so we'll talk about that um, in another video. All right, so the word pear. All right, so P is for pear. All right, so we'll put that over here. Do, do, do. All right, and let's move on to our next letter. See what we got here. We have a yellow egg, and it has the letter J. Now I know some of you at home are probably saying the letter I. It's the letter I because it has a dot on the top. This is a little different. It does not have a straight line. It has a curve, a little curve here at the bottom. So let me put that on my board. Let me show you another J. So it has that curve right here at the bottom, a little hook. Okay, so we have a little line and it hooks at the bottom and then it has a dot. So don't get this mixed up with the letter I. 
Letter I, of course, I don't have the I out. Letter I has just one straight line with a dot on top. Oh my goodness, of course I don't have letter I. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Alright, so we have, let me show you the two side by side. So the I and the J, okay? So the I has a straight line with a dot. The J has a curved line here, kind of like half of a U. So almost like just half of a U, like you cut half of it off and then you add a dot on the top, okay? All right, so letter J is for a jet, a jet plane. This is an airplane, but it can also be called a jet, <clears throat> okay? The small, small little airplanes, we call those jets. All right, so let me clear my board here. And we will do the letter J. Now, what sound does the J make? Some of you guys get confused with the letter G. The G says G, 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 and the J says J, J, J. I know they sound kind of similar, and sometimes you guys get them mixed up, but they are very different. A J and a G, okay? So the J makes the J, J, J for jet or jelly or um, just, okay, lots of different J's. All right, so we're going to make our J. So if you notice, it's going to go down here to our worm line, okay? So we're going to start here at our plane line, and we're going to go and curve down to our worm line, and then add our dot on the top, okay? So plane line, go down to our worm line, and add our dot on the top. So there's our letter, lowercase j. So j it says here is for jet. So jet. Ah, we could do some et words too later this uh, next week. All right. So e e e is an e. So we go across, up, and around. Right. Or if you want to do it as the c, remember you could do it as a c, and then you add your piece in the middle. Okay. And then the last letter is a very short word here. The last letter is t, 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 is the T. So we start at the skyline, go down to our grass line, and make our line across with the plane line. So there we go, lower, lowercase j, 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 jet. All right, <clears throat> put that up there. So next we're going to go into some math. So we're going to do some adding and subtracting here. So let me tell you a few things that you're going to need to get. So I have a cup that I'm going to be using here, and I am going to use some little cotton balls. Well, these are pom-poms or puff balls. They could be cotton balls. It doesn't really matter um, what they are, but I'm going to use these today instead of my blocks. Now, I want you, hopefully you have either some tongs. Maybe in the kitchen, mom and dad might have some tongs they use to pick things up, or some tweezers will work too. We're going to be using this because this will help strengthen your little fingers to help you with writing. Okay, so being able to pick, pinch, 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 and pick something up is really good practice for your fingers. Okay, so <clears throat> make sure you go and get some of those a cup and something that you can pick up um, easily with the, um, the tweezers or the, the tongs. Uh, something that's not flat because then that would be really hard to pick up. So something that's kind of roundish, uh, maybe like marbles, if you have marbles at home. Um, cereal, cereal would work. If you have some little uh, cereal, you could use that too. All right, anything is, is perfect. All right, so you can use your dice or you can use your card. Oh, that's clean. You can use your card if you have those at home. Okay, so I'm going to use dice since that's what I have. If you don't have dice, you can use cards or you can um, write some numbers on some paper and just pick them out, okay? So make sure you have um, six in there. Since I'm using two dice, have it up to um, six twice, one through six twice, okay? All right, so I'm going to roll my dice. I got a number six. And a number two. All right. So six, seven, eight, 
Um, and I will use my blocks here, just so I can show you here visually, because my dice are kind of small. All right, so we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to put two more on the top of this. So six, seven, and eight. There we go. So we need eight. So I'm going to take my little puff balls and I'm going to put them into my cup, okay? So let's see, do I have, let's see if I can make it, just so you can see it better. I'm really quick here, keep my ropes, alright, maybe that's a little bit better for you. Alright, so six and two is eight, so I'm going to count out, where's my, alright, so I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now on my paper, you're going to write the number eight. All right, so the number eight, we make like a letter S and curls all the way back around. So it kind of like looks like a snowman, kind of. All right, so we start at the top, we go around, make, oh, oh no, let's try a different marker. All right, we start at the top and we go around and back up. So there's my number eight. We're going to do an addition. So we're going to add some to this cup. So I'm going to make my plus sign and I'm going to draw my equal sign over here. All right. So I'm going to roll my dice again. Take my two dice. Roll my dice. I got a four and a two. A four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. There's my four. And my two. So I'm going to take two and I add one, two, put them on top. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Remember, you can always start at the four and just go five, six. Okay. So six. Let me go ahead and write that down. So I'm going to go six, six. There we go. Six. So now let me take my puff balls again and I'm going to count six more and put them in there. Okay. So I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So now we're going to dump these out and see what our answer is going to be. Eight plus six. All right. So let's dump them out. There we go. Oh, no, I lost one. Escaping. Okay. Alright, so we have 8 plus 6 here. So I'm going to put them back in as I count them. So make sure you're counting at home with me. It's good practice for you to know your numbers in order. Okay? Alright, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 puff balls in there. All right, so hopefully you know how to write a 1 and a 4. Okay, so we're going to write our 1. I should have started over more. So we're going to write our 1, one straight line, and our 4. Remember I told you it was like a capital L and a lowercase l together, okay? So capital L, lowercase l, kind of mixed. All right, so we have 14 puff balls all together. Okay, so now we're going to roll our dice again. So I'll take my puff balls, I'm going to put them back in the container there so my cup is empty. And where did I put those back? There we go. All right, so I'm going to do my dice, or maybe I'll use my cards this time. Some of you might be using cards at home. Let me just take out my queens. Um, let's see. I don't need the face cards, the kings and queens and jacks. I don't need any of those. All right. So let me just mix these up really quick here. So that way they're not in the same order. All right. One of them to be random. All right. So I'm going to pick two cards. So my first card, oh, that's easy. That's just a one. I know it says a letter A, but there's only one picture there. So we'll count that as number one. All right. So one. So where's my marker? That's an easy number. So we just make one straight line. So we're going to go here. One plus, let's 
see what we get here. And we're going to do two because I was doing a dice with two. So we're going to do two numbers this time. So we're going to do an eight and a two. Okay. So we're going to go, let's see. We can do this without using the black. So I'm going to take eight puff balls and put them into my cup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my second card was a two. Hopefully you're doing this at home and counting along with me. Okay, so one and two. All right, did I put my one in there? Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I put my one puff ball in there. All right, well, I guess we'll figure that out when we dump it out. All right, so let me go ahead and write my number. So eight, nine, ten. So, because I'm using cards, let me show you this here. Uh, okay. Alright, so to show you this, so this has pictures on it. If you're using cards, these are really great because you can count the pictures on the card. So, we have eight, and I'm going to do a count up this time because that's good for you to be able to count up as well, to not just counting in order. So, eight. I'm going to add two more. So, eight, nine, ten. So we should have had a 10 here. So 1 plus 10. Now hopefully, I know some of you are going to want to count every single one, but we should be able to do this one without counting these. Because 10, and you add 1 up, you should get the number 11. Okay? So when you count up 1, you could even use a number line for this. We did a number line in one of our other videos. That's really easy too, because the numbers are just in a row like this. And when you add, you go to the to the right, and when you subtract, you go to the left. That makes it really fast too. All right, so let's see if there's eleven puff balls in here, because I'm not really sure if I put the one puff ball in when we did our one. So let's find out. Dump them all out. All right. You can already tell it's probably not. <laughs> all right. So we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our one is eleven. All right, so eleven puff balls. Hopefully, you're getting the hang of your tongs or your tweezers. These ones are really tiny. And I'll try these next so that you can see how to use those too. All right, so I'm gonna put my puff balls back in the container. And we're going to go to our next number. Um, let's see here. <sighs> All right, we'll use the cards again. All right, so since I was using two dice, I'm going to draw two cards this time for the first number and two cards again for the second number, okay? So I really would like to get us into the double-digit numbers so that you can identify them as well. Okay, so my next one, ooh, a big number here, a nine, okay? Number nine and a five. All right, so nine, I'm gonna count up, okay? So nine, we're starting at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, oh my goodness, that's a big number. All right, so one and a four, and we're gonna add, I'm gonna do a plus, so 14. Now the counting up, like I just did, if you're using a number line, it's basically the same thing, but you can physically see it. So you go 9, and then you add up to your, your 5, okay? All right, so let's see what the next number is going to be. So we have a, oh, a 2, along with a 6. All right, so remember when we count up, we start at our biggest number. Let's see, do I have my number line here? I think I do. I will do this with a number line so we, you can see how to do it here. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. All right, so we start at our six and we're going to add two. So we're going to count up. So we start here at our six and we go one, two. So six and two is eight. All right, so I need to add an eight here on our board. Eight equals, so 14 plus eight. Oh my goodness, I got lots of puff balls. Hopefully I have enough. All right, 
So I'm going to take my cup and my, oh, I'm going to use the small tweezers this time to show you how to do that. All right, so we need 14 to begin with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully you're counting at home. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Whew, that's a lot. And my next number that I need to add in there is eight. All right, so I have to add eight more. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I almost used all of my little cup balls. All right, so we're going to add these together and see what we got. This is going to be a big number, I know. All right, so take them out. Try not to drop any this time. Ooh, real fast. That's good. So hopefully you're doing this at home with me and I'm not just doing it by myself because that's no fun. Alright, so I have all my little pieces out here. I'm going to take my little tweezers again. I'm going to put them back in, but I'm going to count all of them together, okay? Alright, so we got, ready? Let's start counting. One, two, now don't count fast, otherwise you're going to mess up, okay? Don't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay, because then is you have to count one at a time. So this makes number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh my goodness, 22 puff balls. All right, so let's practice our two. We've done our two before. So remember, it's like a little curve at the top, a diagonal line down, and a straight line over, okay? So two and a two, 22. Oh my goodness, that's a big number, 22. All right. Now, we can turn these into um, subtraction problems. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a big board here. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to just do this. So, I'm going to erase this 14 here. I'm going to erase this plus sign here. And I'm going to make this a subtraction sign. So, 8, take 6 away. So, we're gonna just going to do maybe a couple of these. So real quick, I'm going to put eight puff balls into my cup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So I have eight puff balls here. I need to take six of them out because when we take away, when we subtract, we're taking stuff away. So I have eight in here. So I need to get my tweezers again, and I'm going to take six of them out. So ready? We're going to take one, two, three, four, five, and six. So how many does that leave me with? It leaves me with only two little puff balls. All right, so I'm going to put eight, take away six is Two. Oh, that doesn't really look like a two, does it? It looks like a Z. It's more of a curve there. All right. So let's go down here to this one here. So this one, we actually have to um, rearrange the numbers a little bit. So we're going to do a 10, take away 1, because we don't know how to do negative numbers yet. So 10 minus 1. Now, hopefully, you could do this on your fingers or you know how to count backwards. Like as a, when a spaceship goes up, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, right? You count down to zero and blast off. All right, so 10 minus one, so you just take one away, you should get the number nine. Very good, nine. Okay, so number nine. But we can do that here with our puff balls. We need some practice, get those fingers nice and strong for writing. So we're going to take 10, so 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to take only one away. So that reach in there, take one out. And let's see how many puff balls we are left with. All right. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we got our correct answer, nine. And you could have even done that on your fingers like this, ten fingers. You know, you have five on this hand and five on this hand. Five plus five is ten. You take one away, you should get nine. And you can always count those five, six, seven, eight, nine. Count up, okay? All right. So I'm going to leave the last one as a challenge to you at home and see if you can get the right answer. I am pretty sure your mom and dad would just be blown away if you told them that 14 minus 8 equals... You're going to find the answer. I'm not going to tell you the answer. 14, take away 8, and you tell me, what is the answer? I'm sure your mom and dad would be really impressed if you came up with the right answer. All right, so that will conclude our lesson for today. I certainly hope you had a good time. I did. Make sure you're practicing writing. Make sure you're practicing your uh, counting. And I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you on 